Gemini 4 was launched on June 3rd, 1965 at 316 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 19 at Cape Canaveral. It was placed into space by a Titan II rocket and it carried astronauts James McDivitt and Ed White on a four-day mission. Initially, the mission was simply meant to be the first multi-day mission launched by the United States and a lengthier test of the Gemini spacecraft than Gemini 3 was. Gemini 3 had only made three orbits of the Earth, while Gemini 4 aimed for 66. However, with Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov performing the first EVA, the first spacewalk, on the Vossod 2 mission three months earlier, NASA decided to speed up its timeline and have Ed White perform the first American EVA on this mission. That turned out to be a very good thing because there were a lot of unforeseen difficulties with EVAs that wouldn't be resolved until the very last Gemini mission, Gemini 12. An additional goal for the mission was for the Gemini spacecraft to do a rendezvous of the spent Titan II second stage, but this failed because the crew had not fully trained on the counterintuitive nature of space rendezvous. The stage was still venting propellant, so that its orbit was actually changing during the attempt, and they lacked the rendezvous radar used on later missions. Ed White's EVA had some complications, but not in the same way as Alexei Lyanov's first EVA. While both spacesuits caused maneuverability problems while inflated, Lyanov's inflation proved more dire, and he had to return through the unique Voshod airlock module, while for Gemini the entire cabin was depressurized, so Ed White had a larger hatch to return through. The problem for Gemini 4 was that the hatch latch mechanism initially had problems releasing, and when White returned into the capsule, it was a struggle to actually get it to close again. McDivitt ultimately managed to get the mechanism to work, but if it hadn't closed properly, the lives of both astronauts would have been at risk during re-entry. For his part, White seemed to have a fine time during the EVA, spending more time than Mission Control wanted him to, outside taking photos and using the handheld maneuvering device. Ultimately, White did comply with the order to get back in after 20 minutes outside, just as the spacecraft entered the nighttime side of the Earth, but he called the moment the saddest in his life. Because White was among the most physically fit astronauts, at one point trying out for the US Olympic team for hurdles and otherwise playing a variety of sports, he didn't report as much weariness after maneuvering in space as later Gemini spacewalkers faced, but he also had a much more limited range of tasks. The plans for the next few American spacewalks would prove overly ambitious after White's success. Reentry did not go as planned. Thanks to a computer failure on the final day of the mission, the astronauts had to use a more hands-on reentry, which basically spin-stabilized the spacecraft, further complicated by a malfunctioning thruster. Despite the problems, they were recovered safely and promptly. As had been the case with every American space flight, the medical community had expressed concern about astronauts surviving in space for any time longer than the previous space flight already proved that they could, but McDivitt and White were examined and found to be of good health. As a result, NASA could continue with plans for more ambitious Gemini missions. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Gemini 4.